Hey guys, how are you? This will be another interesting video about the cars, the traffic safety. So there are people that are not having installed from factory into their cars an intelligent auto illuminating system that knows when it's dark to activate your headlights automatically. So you know we made a lot of tutorials about cars to the Audi cars, Volkswagen, Skoda, Seat cars. So this tutorial guys is to increase our uh, uh, safety in the, into the traffic. When we drive to be visible to other drivers, you know we mounted LEDs to the cars, uh, uh, premium LEDs from Philips. We have a lot of tutorials uh, for these videos. And guys, the light, it's the most important thing on driving. You know, the European Union uh, made manufacturers to um, put DRRs to insert into their vehicles for more than 10 years, they made manufacturers to insert as standard the equipment of day running lights. So an interesting thing I have from an old car of mine, one uh, block that uh, has a sensor, a light sensor, and will sense when it's dark outside or when you get into the tunnel and will automatically activate your headlights. And this is a wonderful thing because there are a lot of people that forget into the evening or into the night to uh, activate their headlights. So this automatization takes you a lot of thinking, a lot of trouble, you know, the cars started to drive uh, by themselves. Look at Tesla, for example. And I bought, guys, another uh, new light block for Volkswagen cars. And we will try to this car to mount it and see how uh, are the headlights, how are turning on, if it's functional. And um, there are a lot of details in uh, this. For example, when you are in the, into the winter and you are putting your contact on the car, you don't want the headlights to start because it will force your battery. You want to start the headlights after you, you are turning on your engine. Another thing that we will discuss into this video is uh, uh, coming home and leaving home functions if they are available because some cars, some uh, of you don't have these uh, features from factories, are simple operations, are simple ideas, but uh, many uh, users, many drivers don't know about these features. So we are making these videos, guys, especially to help you. So let's see how is the installation of these two blocks. We will test both of them. So let's go. These are the two light blocks that uh, this is the some kind of old one. And it has a light sensor here that will detect the darkness, the light, uh, you know, the tunnels. And it has zero auto, the position, the parking and the headlights. And then you will have the fog lights and the back fog lights, the front fog lights and the back fog lights. This is the new version that has, I think, two sensors. One sensor in, on the top here, if you can see it. And the other sensor, I think it's a sensor here exactly in the light. And I don't think it has three sensors. It also have something here. Anyway, the important thing is that um, this one, it's in, the sensor, it's integrated in the block light and it works. The connections in the back are the same, are for the small, let's say, small connector. You got to look on the photos when you buy uh, these devices, this product, because are two versions for the old cars and the new cars. These are the new, for the new cars, the small connector. So guys, will this product actually work? I'm referring, will they work accurately? Because you know, you got to have in your car all the system mounted from the factory and the original block to actually work good. So nothing is like from the factory, it's a saying. But I'm confident that one of these products will work good. So guys, to take out your original block of the car, uh, all these blocks have the same procedure. You got to push in the zero position forward and take it to the right, the handle, put it to the right. And now it's working. And this is how you are taking out your original block. 
Now, the interesting thing, guys, is that you won't make modifications to your car. It's just plug and play. This is the easiest thing and the greatest thing about this product. So just click it and that's it. And it's very, very simple. You got to be careful to put the zero position like exactly like I'm putting here. Put to zero and that's it. Now, go in auto and it should work. This should be the entire thing. And this is the installing part, guys. Now, let's see how it works. So, guys, let's start the car. We will go into an underground passage and we will see the functionality of this uh, light block. So the lights were turned automatically on. Let's see, we are leaving the underground passage and uh, should automatically turn off these lights. Let's see. So this block had a little bit of delay, maybe 10 seconds until we'll uh, turn off. So guys, let's see how many seconds will take until I put the contacts. You know, you got to leave the gas pump uh, two or three seconds until some lights will uh, turn off into your dashboard and then to start the engine. So let's see, this is the second block now, the block with the sensor built in. So let's see, one to push the lights and it started a little bit earlier, the lights started too early in my opinion, let's see, one, two, three, four and now, uh, the lights started exactly um, when the engine started, so this is not good. This block must leave a 7 seconds delay to start the lights because uh, especially when uh, you are turning on your engine, this procedure will take the most of your battery, the most energy. So, I don't think this block is good. Let's try it again. One. Put the key into the position, the lights went off and exactly when I'm starting the, ah, man, it's not good. Exactly when I'm starting the engine, uh, this light, it has three or five seconds. And if I start the engine too early to prevent this, uh, the um, gas pump will not have time to push the gas and will the car will struggle to start. So now, let's put the first version with uh, this sensor here. And this is the tricky part. You got to put the sensor onto the windshield, into the windshield from here to drag the wire to the windshield in the front. So uh, now we got to take out this part of the car and you will figure it out, it's not hard. And click it here now. Just click it. Put it into the zero position. Just to put it nicely in here. So I have another sensor here, but this is not important. It's only for the alarm. And this is the sensor. It must be in the clear area of the windshield. You must insert it here as you can. So I think it looks discreet. If you are having a plastic tool, you can push this wire elegant, not to be visible, and you can bypass it here and pass it from here to here and discreet here, and you're good to go. This is it. So let's see, contact, 
one, two, and after seven or eight seconds started to turn on automatically the headlights. So this is very good. I put the contact. One, two, three. The lights. And it's okay, man. So let's uh, do the test one more time. Contact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in 10 seconds will start, will auto start if you see the lights and you can turn on without a problem your engine and uh, it will protect your battery in winter time. So now I want to see the coming home and the living home. So for example, I turn, I close my car, I lock it. The newest light block with the built-in sensor has 10 seconds of coming home lights. So uh, the old one with the wire, extended wire, has 30 seconds, which is very good. So now if I want to get into my car, if you have a remote control, push the remote control and the lights will start. For example, I have sensing my smartphone, the car, and I can get into the car with my phone in my pocket. The lights will sense me uh, when I will approach the car and that's it. Please tell us guys which of the products do you think it works accurately. In my opinion, it's very simple, the decision, but uh, it's uh, the talking with the extension of the wire and built-in sensor. This is the problem. To this car, we have an intelligent system, which I don't have a key, only with my smartphone, I can get into this car. And with the start button, you saw it detect my phone and it automatically uh, open. And um, I have a start-stop button that I can use with this intelligent management system that I can start the car and go without a key. So I don't need a normal key with buttons. I just need my smartphone and I can drive the car and do all kinds of things from the smartphone without using a key. So uh, I hope you like this review, guys. Please thumbs up for this video. Subscribe that button and put the notification bell where I technology reviews. You got to love technology because technology is part of our lives. See you guys. Have a pleasant day. Bye.